Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to solve the part B of this question. The solution to part A has, has already been uploaded and I will link its um, um, uh, that video in the comment section. You can check it out. And let's see what the part B uh, wants us to do. So it says that straight the directions 0, 1 bar, 1, 0 and 2, 1 bar, 1 bar, 0 in an HCB structure and write down the three digit Miller indices of these directions. So here we need to draw these two directions in HCB structure. Okay. And we can see here that it is given uh, that direction is given in a four digit Miller indices. Uh, or we can say that Miller Bravis indices for the directions are given and we need to draw these directions in an HCB structure and after that what we have to do is to convert that direction from the four digit Miller indices to a three digit Miller indices so uh, they are the two parts uh, in this question that we need to do and um, for, uh, for the second part where we have to transform the four digit Miller indices into three digit Miller indices, uh, the formula has already been derived in the part A section. I'll just uh, mention that formula directly into uh, in this uh, in its solution while doing um, that problem. So uh, if you are interested in its der derivation that how uh, we can write this then you can check out the part A. Uh, so let's begin with the part B. Uh, here we are given with the four digit Miller indices um, for the directions and we need to draw these directions in HCP structure and for drawing uh, and for uh, for in order to draw these directions we should first know their corresponding three digit Miller indices and these three digit Miller indices will help us to draw the directions okay so the method will be clear to you when you will uh, uh, follow me along the process so um, we already needed okay in uh, that question the corresponding three digit Miller indices to these two directions and these two uh, and the corresponding three digit Miller indices are also needed to draw the directions okay without that it will be difficult uh, to draw the directions so what we'll write now is in order to draw the directions and we should first know their corresponding three digit Miller indices okay so we'll find out their three digit Miller indices first and then we will draw this direction then we'll be able to draw the direction so here I have already uh, characterized them as you know that in uh, four digit Miller indices the first index is H the second is K the third is I and the fourth is L so bar means my negative of that number okay so H is 0 here K is minus 1 I is 1 and L is 0 right there and in the second one I have rotated in a column so it's up to you so the first one is 2 for H K minus 1 I is minus 1 and L is 0 and the transformation equations uh, are h prime equals h minus i these are the equations that we have already um, derived in part a of this uh, question okay so these are the equations h prime k prime and l prime are the three digit miller indices okay and h k i and l are the four digit miller indices we'll just simply put these values into this formula and we'll get the three digit miller indices for these directions individually so h minus i here uh, for this h is 0 minus i is 1 so minus 1 is the first uh, three digit Miller index, uh, index h prime is equals to minus 1 um, here k is minus 1 minus i is 1 again so it's minus 2 here okay and l prime equals l it means it is the same so uh, h prime k prime l prime enclosed in a square bracket as it is for direction will be equals to 1 bar 2 bar 0 all right and for this we'll follow the same procedure and h here is 2 minus into minus 1 because i is minus 1 2 minus minus is plus 1 equals 3 and k prime equals k minus i k is minus 1 minus into minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 and it gives 0 
and l is equals to l prime so uh, l prime equals to zero since l is zero here so l prime equals l which was zero so we got h prime k prime l prime for this direction to be uh, three zero zero and this uh, could be reduced further by dividing the three numbers by um, the LCM which was 3 so we'll divide the three numbers and what we get is 100 zero zero. okay it can be reduced further into this number but this cannot be reduced further okay into any integer number so uh, these are the final three digit million indices for these two directions okay and these three digit million indices will help us to draw the direction properly in HCP structure so we successfully found the uh, three digit million indices for the directions we were given and let us draw the first direction which was uh, 0 1 bar 1 0 and um, we have okay after that after uh, this we'll do this mathematic mathematics will be done and after that we'll write that we have uh, h prime k prime l prime equals 1 bar 2 bar 0 for uh, 0 1 bar 1 0 and here uh, just to make you understand uh, that uh, the first index is for a1 axis the second index is for a2 axis and third index is for the z axis okay as i told earlier in part a that uh, the three digit miller indices corresponds to the a1 a2 and z axis the a3 axis is uh, missing in the three digit miller indices while the additional uh, uh, a3 axis is included in the four digit miller indices okay so that is why only uh, this the first one will be corresponding to the a1 axis the second one will correspond to the a2 axis and the third one for z and um so and uh, we have uh, h prime k prime and l prime okay we'll write minus one in place of h prime minus two in place of uh, k prime and zero in place of z okay and uh, the next step is to divide dividing we have made the columns here okay uh, dividing by the lcm uh, of these three quantities which of these three quantities which are non-zero okay we don't take the lcm of zero so the lcm of one and two is two so we'll divide both of these numbers um so we'll divide the three numbers by two and what we get is minus one by two okay minus two by two which will give us minus one and zero by two is again zero so uh, this is something that we have got so our direction is uh, represented by a vector which has a tail in our head okay the tail is all while drawing the direction we always put the tail at origin okay so we don't need to find out its coordinate because it's understood that it will always be at origin uh, of the coordinate system that we have chosen and the head coordinates need to be determined from the miller indices and these three numbers are the head coordinates of the direction okay so following these coordinates we'll get the head point and joining the origin to the head point will give us the direction um, okay so let us draw the direction now and as you can see for both of the uh, directions the z coordinate is zero that is why i'm not drawing the whole uh, hcp structure okay i am only drawing the basal region or the basal plane uh, because the z is zero and the height is not required okay so that is why we'll draw the basal region only and just like that okay and for drawing uh, the crystal structures it is always advisable to use the pencils of different colors uh, because it helps you to understand the structure um, very well because otherwise you will uh, confuse between the lines all right so let me call this direction as a1 okay and, uh, just after that one corner this one okay leaving one corner and the next corner is a, another axis okay a2 axis and this one point after that this one 
is a3 axis which is not needed here but you have to mention it as to show that you know the 4d coordinate system so yes and this is the positive a1 direction okay and the line just opposite to that will be the negative a1 axis okay and uh, this line is positive a2 axis and this one line just opposite to that is negative a2 axis and similarly for a3 this is positive a3 axis and this opposite line will be the negative a3 axis which is not needed here that is why i'm not mentioning it right now okay so uh, we have a1 as minus 1 by 2 a2 as minus 1 and z as 0 okay so we'll move from origin this is our origin and the tail of our vector will be at origin okay so this is the origin um just imagine it as origin and from origin we'll move minus 1 by 2 units along the a1 direction now um, this is negative that is why we'll move in the negative a1 direction okay half unit along the negative a1 direction now this whole length is 1 okay from origin to the corner of the unit cell is 1 and the half of it the half of this line will be uh, roughly here okay so this is the point minus 1 by 2 okay along a1 direction now from this point onward we have to move uh, minus 1 unit along the uh, a2 direction okay minus 1 uh, unit along a2 direction or we can say 1 unit along the negative a2 direction now this is the negative a2 direction so we'll move parallel to that like this here okay parallel to negative a2 direction since it is negative so we'll move in the negative direction okay if the integer is negative it means that we have to move in the negative axis so this is the final point and joining these two points together gives you the direction which is um, 0 1 bar 1 0 all right this is the direction okay and okay this is done now and now we'll draw the next direction which is um, 1 0 0 okay it is 1 0 0 this is the next direction uh, these are the Miller indices h prime k prime and l prime and these are also the head coordinates of the vector because uh, there is no need to divide any like LCM uh, to these number because the LCM is uh, of these numbers is 1 and dividing by 1 doesn't brings any change um, uh, to the numbers so these are the final head coordinates okay for a1 for a2 and for z it's again zero that is why uh, only basic plane will be considered and we can even draw it on this um, diagram on this plane also and as we can see here that for a1 the head the coordinate is one for a to the coordinate is zero and for z the coordinate is zero so from origin we'll move okay uh, this is the origin from origin we'll move one unit along the positive a1 direction okay so what is the positive a1 direction this is the positive a1 direction so we'll move one unit along the positive a1 direction so from this point to the other corner of the unit cell okay one unit means to the uh, from origin to the other corner of the unit cell which is this corner along a1 direction so now um, no zero units along a2 and zero units along z it means we do not need to move any um, further okay and this is the final point joining this line with this give us the vector okay um, 2 1 bar 1 bar 0 okay this is uh, 2 1 bar 1 bar 0 direction and this one is 0 1 bar 1 0 direction okay now um, uh, the selection of these axis lines is arbitrary okay it's up to you uh, which kind of you know notation you want to choose for example if you want to uh, take this one axis as a3 this one as a2 this one as a1 or, or this one as a1 a2 a3 the selection is arbitrary 
if you wish to take this one axis as a1 this one as a2 and this one as a3 it's up to you the resultant uh, vector that you will obtain in any of the way uh, will be correct okay following this method whatever you get will be true um, as your coordinate system will be unique okay so depending upon your coordinate system um, uh, you'll draw the direction and yes it is done now do the part 3 and part 4 in other videos